We can't pay you, but it'll be really great exposure. It'll look great on your CV. Hi, Mr. Mayhew. Yes, yeah, sorry I'm late with the rent again. Now, I wanted to suggest something, actually. I wondered if I could pay you with exposure. Yeah, well, let me explain. Basically, I think this is a really great opportunity for you to have me as a tenant. It'll look really great with your next letting agent. They'll be all like, wow, he had Judith as a tenant. He must be a really great landlord. We should definitely work with him. This is an opportunity for you to get your landlording skills out there. There are loads of landlords. It's a really oversubscribed profession, so you can't expect to be paid for every tenancy. It's just not realistic. Paying you hasn't really factored into the budget. Yeah, the budget's really tight. After I've paid for food and transport, there just isn't anything left over to pay you. But if you do this tenancy for free, you're way more likely to be considered for a paid landlording gig sometime in the future. So it's an investment, really. Are you willing to invest in your future? Sometimes you have to speculate to accumulate. Oh my god, so rude. Hi Vodafone, can you put me through to billing please? Thanks. No, not yet, no. Well, I don't think you can cut me off because I haven't paid. I've been giving you guys great word of mouth. You know, whenever I make a phone call, I always ask the person on the other end if they can hear me, and if they say yes, I tell them that's the great call quality they can expect with Vodafone. That's worth more than money. I could have called EE or O2 or 3 or GifGaf, but I didn't. I called you. I can't pay you, but you should be flattered I thought of you first. Right, on your website it says you're passionate about delivering great phone service. When you're pursuing your passion, sometimes you have to work for free. I think money kind of taints what you do, so it's actually purer and more ethical, actually, to provide me with phone service for free. Hi BT, customer services please. I'm giving you the opportunity to craft your skill in providing broadband. I don't know why you're being so negative. If your engineer comes round and gets me hooked up with fibre optic broadband, I can't pay him or her, but I can provide all the tea and coffee or refreshments that they want. There are loads of ways this could turn into a paid opportunity in the future. Like, if I like your broadband, maybe I'll get a TV package with you. No, not now, obviously, in the future, maybe. There are several awards you could be eligible for if you do this one job for free. You love providing broadband, don't you? That's what it says in your advert. This is what you love doing. So this shouldn't even feel like work to you. You shouldn't even want to be paid. They're so entitled, these companies, expecting to be paid for everything. Hello, thank you for continuing to watch my channel. Just a quick update to say I'll be doing what I think will be the final performance of my last show, Everything That's Wrong With The Universe, at the Museum of Comedy on November the 27th. That's a Sunday, it's at 7 p.m. I'll put a link in the description. It's being filmed, so please come along and laugh loudly. Also, I've started work on a new live show for 2017. It's gonna be called Gemma Arrowsmith Earthling. It'll be about the Voyager missions and the Voyager Golden Records. More links and information about that as and when I have it. In the meantime, head over to iTunes or the British Comedy Guide to download the podcast I do with Susan Harrison, Hayley and Ruth Two Stars, in which we play two reviewers who will review something whether they've seen it or not. More videos on this channel soon as well. Bye!